Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And so this is part two of today's message, and um, <clears throat> and I've just been asked to read letters 111 and 222. Um, so these are all channeled messages between people's high selves, their twins, and so it is a way of staying on track and get messages that you need because the last lady just said sometimes it's so difficult to believe this journey and I know it is totally you go all over the shop all the feels all the time <laughs> so it is letter 111 you are so ridiculously beautiful that it makes my head spin my heart beat faster and every cell in my body tingle I don't think you really know what you do to me Having you near me is like having a fire burning inside of me, waking up all my senses. What an incredible experience. What an out of this world feeling. How extraordinary this is. This love that we have between us is extreme, is beautiful, is a wonder of my heart. I never knew that I could actually feel the pounding of my heart so hard. It's actually gonna come out of my chest. I love you. I yearn for you. I yearn for our time to come so that we can be together forever. Okay. I yearn for us to come together so that we can be together forever. And um, <clears throat> 111 book two is, I have loved you from day dot. There is nothing that would keep us apart this time around. This time is our time. Trust, trust, trust in me. Trust in our mission together. We have found our beautiful love vibration that is unique to us. No one else has this song. Our song is divine. It's exquisite. It's beyond your mind to comprehend that what our soul song does to the universe when we come together in our sacred sexual union. Believe me, we are here for a reason. We are all here for a reason. For our soul songs to sing really loudly when we all experience true sacred sexual enlightenment, we will transform and up the, uplift the planet with our love. Oh, oh, oh can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. Oh, dear. Uh, right, at heaven to 11. You are my freedom. You hold the keys to set my soul free, to get me out of my cage, to open my heart finally, I am so fed up with only half living. To step out of my comfort zone is scary. It's really difficult breaking through the walls of fear and doubt and the dreaded what ifs. But I don't want to hide anymore. I don't want to live a half life in the shadow of who I truly am. I want to become me. I want to feel free and I know that you are the only one. You are the only person that I feel at home with, that I feel free with. You are my heart. Okay, and then letter 222, I know is only in this book, because this is the only, book three is the only one that goes over 100 letters. And it is to keep going, to keep on being a courageous, beautiful, divine love warrior, holding your sword of truth high above your head and not letting my stuff get in the way of us and staying true to you. I love you so much for everything that you do, have done, and continue to do for us every single day. Every single second you are shining your light like a knight in shining armour. You are my hero. Know that you will whisk me off my feet and we will gallop off into the sunset together. We are each other's destiny. You are my divine love. I adore you. That's so lovely because that's a message from somebody's higher self to their twin. And that's so important to just keep holding your twin in the, in the highest light of what you want to see your life being together. It's to keep holding that vision no matter what is going on because holding that vision for them is your strength. That's your power. Your power is to see beyond... That, sorry, that's my dog. I just go... Your power is to see beyond this illusion of this 3D and your power is to really hold the vision for what you want your life to be. So I love that this. So 
Letter 222, I'm going to read it once more, is to keep on going, to keep on being a courageous, beautiful, divine love warrior, holding your sword of truth high above your head and not letting my stuff get in the way of us and staying true to you. I love you so much for everything that you do, have done and continue to do for us every single day. Every single second you are shining your light like a knight in shining armour. You are my hero. Know that you will whisk me off my feet and we will gallop off into the sunset together. We are each other's destiny. You are my divine love. I adore you. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the message. I adore you. You are my divine love. So, just gorgeous messages. Thank you again um, to the lady who requested 111222. And it is a row. It is, I hate the word roller coaster now because it's everywhere, but it is a completely, all the feels every day. You're probably going to experience so much of like, is this real? Is this not real? It's a total, it's like putting yourself in a washing machine every day, to be honest. And what life throws at you and all of those things, because it's a constant cycle to rid you of all of the energies that are opposed to love. And so putting yourself into a washing machine and turning it on spin is what every day is going to happen because there's so many other energies that are opposed to love that we are clearing and we're doing that as a collective. And so you, and all of that doubt, fear, misbelief, is this really true? Am I going crazy? Is this really my destiny? Is this ever going to happen? You know, all of those are just mind chatter because what's at the heart of you is your truth. And uh, when, and that's the thing, this, the, it's a journey that will constantly spin you around um, to make you settle in the one place that you really, really know what's true, what's true, and that's your heart. So my heart goes out to every single person <laughs> who is in the midst of the washing cycle because it will happen every day, probably multiple times a day. And that's why we're all masters of managing our own energy and getting centered, getting grounded, using the tools to help stay in that heart vibration. So I hope that helps. So if you want a healing, a reading, a channeled letter, um, healings are when I tap into the energy of you and your twin and I see everything like a film and so I tell you what I see, what messages, what songs come through and the mantra that comes through for you. When you repeat the mantra it lifts and shifts your vi vibration and it is one of those tools for your toolkit that you can use to help you stay centred. Um, the the um, channel letters, $10, readings, card readings, to um twenty dollars so all details are in the link akashic record readings which are an energetic record of all of your soul truth and your twin soul truth and that is um eighty dollars for eight questions um and again all details are in the link so i hope that helps and remember we're all doing it together so just know that whatever's going on for you just think this too shall pass to look at it objectively, it's giving you a lesson to pushing you more and more into the truth of who you truly are, to build your connection even more to the universe, to feel grounded, to clear your root chakra, to be in your center of power, your solar plexus. Um, so it's all about solar plexus and root chakra at the moment. I've been feeling that so strongly. Um, because whatever comes into your life to really shake your foundation, um, it's to clear your root chakra and to be in, and your solar plexus, to be in power, in your own power, to know that you're grounded. Because when you have, you know, when you're feeling grounded and centered and trusting the universe, that's when you're really powerful. Um, and so much of the day, <laughs> you get put in the washing machine again and it like shakes all of that up again. Um, and so it's like, okay, no, I just need to go and get grounded again. I need to trust. I need to work on that. I need to work on my energy, you know. So just remember, it's a constant, constant cycle. And uh, it's about how you manage the cycle. So 
I hope that helps. And um, and yeah, go and watch that film. It was called the film from this morning's video is Mr. Hoppy with Dustin Hoffman. It's so brilliant. The next person that sends a message is saying, "That's my twin's name." <laughs> so of course it is. Um, but the film is Elias Trot or something. It's by Roald Dahl. Um, who also wrote The Magic, I think The Girl with the Magic Finger, uh, which of course is amazing because we are people with magic fingers. And so when we concentrate on the magic, that's when we can make magic happen. So all about believing in the power of you, all about believing in the power of love, all about believing that you're on this journey to raise the um, vibration of the planet to change the way that people live their lives to change the way that people perceive their lives more importantly it's all about perception it's how you perceive your reality is what you then create so if you're perceiving your reality to be lackful or difficult or all of those things then it's it's again it's shifting that perception and shifting your view your view to turn it around and the only way to do that is to go get centered, get grounded, go into your heart, feel at peace, you know. So I hope that helps. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you want a healing reading, channeled letter, a Akashic record reading, any of the services I offer, then please do. All details are in the link. And if you want to get these books, they are on Amazon. They are a, and the mantra books that I do also on Amazon link in the um, description box again crazy cool way of just constantly getting messages which keeps you in that high vibe state and um keeps you on the path basically so i hope they help all right take care bye